real good win for us. Uh, they're, they're, they're a real good basketball team. Uh, they've got all the ingredients to be a good team. They got athleticism, they got size, they got depth. They got a special player guard. Um, they can score off the dribble, can score off the catch. It, it's it's uh, uh, real proud of the guys. I did a real bad job preparing us to play offense today. Uh, but because we're going to have five games in nine days with such a young team, <coughs> I got to kind of pick and choose what we're doing in practice right now. I can't keep these guys on the court for three hours. Um, and I chose to prepare our defense. And then I kind of, I left practice yesterday and, and we prepared our offense, but we didn't prepare it against live defense. And I went home yesterday and I said, you know what, these guys we're playing are old. They're going to dig into us. They're going to try and deny. And I, you didn't prepare the guys for it. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, but real, so many new guys, uh, uh, for as bad a job as I did to prepare us offensively, real proud of the way that they fought and figured out a way to play well enough to help us win. Frank, it seemed like really early, maybe around the 10 minute mark, your guards really started taking theirs off the dribble, going to the rim, or maybe passing out for the three. How encouraging was that to see uh, the guys just kind of making those plays on the fly? Yeah, I mean, it, you, you, you saw it from not just the guards, but Mike and Chris, too. You know, they were trying to deny, so their defense had gotten spread out. <coughs> and uh, uh, so then we started getting more aggressive off the dribble. Corey made some great plays off the dribble in the first half. Uh, Mike makes some good. Mike makes free throws. I mean, he has them a heck of a game. It's uh, um, uh, Chris played real well in the first half, and then went into brain freeze in the second half. Uh, um, yeah, but that, yes, that if I would have done a better job yesterday preparing our offense, um, we would have had more space to be able to attack. And that's what I'm saying. Our guys actually adapted pretty good for such a young team. Frank, I believe I heard you um, at the end of the first half sort of getting on your guys, getting on your guards, head to the locker room. Uh, what do you think switched uh, in that locker room to make them play a little better in the second half? Well, we gave them eight points in the first half because our point guard just got the ball taken taken away from them and shot layups on the other side. And, you, get, you know, I don't care how bad the guys off the ball mess up the set. Um, the point guard can't get the ball taken from them. I mean, it is what it is. And all three of them had the ball taken for them for layups, you know. And uh, um, the, the one with Corey at the end of the half, I, I punched the chair. I was mad at myself, mad at Corey. That one's on me. Uh, but, you know, but that was a culmination of, I want to say it was either eight or ten points in the first half of just straight, let me take it and go through the layup. Can't have it. You know, it's, you can't. It's, if you're, you, it's a good player. They, they watch an NBA game. How many times people get the ball taken from their hands? Uh, just let go of the first half. I mean, I didn't get to play. I knew I was going to have, you know, I mean, be full of energy for the second half, so I just tried to come out and help my team the best I could. Up here in the front, Andrew and then Colin. Chris, it was, uh, I think you had a turnover there, and their guy was going for kind of an easy layup there in the first half, which would have given them the lead, and you came by and had a pretty emphatic block, and then you guys won that 12 nothing run. Did you feel a little bit of a momentum shift there when you uh, made that play, and, and how important was that in the long run? No, I mean, the split was amazing, you know. So uh, I made a turnover, so I had to run, and I catch up on what I did. So I didn't want to give up a layup, easy enough, so I had to run. That's what I did, trying to make up for my mistake. That's not, there were a couple of times that you or some of the other guards would drive the lane to kind of get some points in the paint. Do you guys feel comfortable maybe creating your own shot like that? And how comfortable are you guys in the paint scoring um, with some bigger bodies around? Uh, I think we got a lot of guards that are you know athletic, and so when we get into the paint, we're able to be able to draw fouls or you know get up higher than our defender. So yeah, we're pretty comfortable in that. If you could both answer this, how comfortable do you guys feel with sharing the ball with each other? I mean, nine players with at least four points tonight. It just seems like anybody can score on this team. Uh, I mean, we're all unselfish. I mean, we all know that we can. We got a lot of shooters on our team, so we, we like to share the ball and get everybody touches. So, uh, I mean, anybody that hits shots, it makes them feel better and they get going. So, we like to share the ball.